This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com with big sales on now and PowerPerformanceProducts.com where you can receive $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects, the best pre-workout supplements on the market. Noguera is an extremely tough guy still. I think a lot of people, uh, you know, they're on two sides of the extreme. They either think that, you know, first fight was a fluke or the second fight or, or excuse me, the or that, uh, you know, that basically he needs to retire. Um, I, I see someone who's extremely motivated who wants to get revenge, so I don't really look to overlook him at all. Where do you feel like you have the biggest strength over him? Obviously, you guys are both top-level grapplers. I think in all the other aspects of the uh, MMA game, I think that he's a very legitimate, obviously, submission specialist. I think that uh, even when he's 80 years old, he's going to be dangerous, you know, on the ground. Um, I think uh, on our feet still, I feel I have a very good advantage due to my athletic ability. and a little more fluid. and. Uh, Right now, my wrestling is still looking to improve and, and get better. I think I showcased better wrestling skills in my last fight than what he did in his last fight. Definitely. I mean, if you feel like if you're close to the ground, you can get on top. I try to be as much as possible, but that being said, it's still kind of a dangerous uh, situation because Noguera is known for being dangerous there. Um, but the advantage is that, you know, because of the cage and being the MMA is what it is now, uh, it's advantageous to be the top position uh, on the ground. So do you feel like you want to keep it standing, though, or you just anywhere the fight goes, it kind of goes how it goes? Well, I obviously feel that being on a, on our feet is a, is a great advantage. Uh, I, I think the less risk of something bad happening there than it would be on the ground. Were you surprised at the knockout of Brendan Schaub? I mean, it seems like it surprised a lot of people. Schaub's a powerful guy, and he really got, got clocked there. Yeah, I think Schaub just made a tactical error. I mean, he was doing pretty well with the jab and backing up and defended all uh, Noguera's takedowns. I think he, uh, he got successful with that uppercut early on in the round and uh, rocked Noguera. You know, Noguera looked to be pretty uh, uh, wobbled. And then uh, he decided to back up and throw another uppercut, but with his chin up in the air. And Noguera, you know, very, uh, you know, uh, very nicely threw it at the right moment where he threw the overhand right and caught him. And then I think at that point, every other punch was just, uh, you know, an explanation on the, uh, you know, the end of the night. You're a guy who's always trying to still evolve despite being such a, a long-time veteran champion in you know, the UFC. Talk about that evolution. Well, I think that, um, you know, heavyweights, I think, uh, typically we do kind of uh, mature later in life. You look at different sports, uh, but uh, obviously I'm not to where I feel like I need to be as a fighter. And so you're constantly always trying to work to improve. I think some guys, you know, they're just better than I am, I guess. They don't want to have to evolve anymore. Okay, last two questions. First, is Brock Lesnar still something that's on your radar? There was some speculation that that would be your next fight. Um, you know, if it works out, it works out. But right now, obviously, just being a better martial artist, uh, when that fight comes up, you know, it, it'll be something to be, uh, you know, obviously I would like to take. but. Uh, doesn't look like it's happening anytime soon, you know, so. Last two questions, actually, a lot of predictions for next week, Jones versus Rampage, and then Diaz versus GSP. Oh, sorry, Honda versus GSP now. Uh, you know what? I don't think you can bet against GSP. I mean, Carlos Condon, I think, is a great warrior, and he has all the tools on paper that make it look like it could be a very winnable fight for him. But uh, GSP has just proven to be, you know, time and time again, just a very dominant champ. And as far as, uh, what was the other fight? Jones. Oh, Jones and Rampage. You know, I think Jones is a phenom. He's very technical. But uh, I, I think too many people right now of Quentin. I think that people need to realize that uh, he's a pretty powerful guy. And uh, I thought he actually looked good against Hamill for, in his last fight for what Hamill was doing. It made a very awkward fight. But his speed and power and, uh, you know, I guess I'm kind of rooting for, uh, not rooting, but I guess I'm kind of picking Quentin on the backside. How about the heavyweights last week, Kane and uh, Dos Santos? Did you see one of them? You know what, Dos Santos has shown to be on a tear. He's phenomenal. Uh, if Kane is healed from his injury, though, I think uh, with his rest and his cardio, I, I don't see the fight staying on its feet. And uh, I don't know what Dos Santos could do on the bottom yet. Godspeed and party on.